ladies and gentlemen, Christopher Lee! Well, this is uh, very exciting. I'm very pleased to uh, very pleased to meet you. We were just me and the audience there. Uh, we're having a bit of a conversation about your exciting CV and the fact that uh, not only have you appeared in classic British horror movies, not only have you appeared in Lord of the Rings, you've now found your way into Star Wars as well. And, and by being in both Lord of the Rings and Star Wars, you've been in, I think, two of the best, if not the two best, fantasy uh, adventure pictures of all time. Yes, I would agree with that. It's a wonderful experience for me. Wonderful experience. I just want you to understand that even Jedi have to wear Macintoshes sometimes. <laughs> Although we're supposed to be impervious to everything else. Yes, being in these two, well, call them what you like. In one case it's a trilogy, which is very one story. These are six different stories. But again, basically one story. To be a part of the two greatest and most successful franchises, whatever you like to call them, is something you don't really expect when you're my age. So I consider myself very fortunate. It's been a wonderful experience for me. A really wonderful experience and I'm profoundly grateful. Knowledge of the force. But by our skills with a lightsaber. To watch it is thrilling for you to actually watch that back for the uh, for the first time. Because I was younger then, <laughs> <laughs> and uh, I did quite a lot of that myself. Did you? Yes, you... The only thing that I can't do, obviously, uh, I can't run. My arms and hands will move as fast as you saw them, but I can't run uh, fast. But then nobody my age can. <laughs> Not many people your age can uh, uh, lightsaber fight Yoda, but I think if... It was, if, it was uh, a great experience, it was great fun. Because he wasn't there. No, no. <laughs> so See, what is he wasn't it, what there. And, and they said, well, he's up there, he's down there, he's over there. He's there, he's there, he's there, he's there. And I'm standing in front of, a, I think it was a blue or a green, I forget which, screen. <laughs> and doing everything that you saw. By myself. With, with a piece of plastic in your hand, yeah, just going well, like this. I, well, up to a point, yes, but some of it's not all that easy to manipulate. But he wasn't there, and he uh, put in afterwards, obviously. But uh, people are asking me all over the world, they say, what's it like when you're working and making a movie and there's nothing behind the camera, nothing coming back? And I'm afraid one day I forgot myself on television in America. And I said, oh, I'm quite used to that with some of my colleagues. <laughs> <laughs> Probably naughty, I think, but you can't resist it sometimes. No, no I don't suppose you'll be naming any in particular. But let's, does anybody have uh, on the front of a question for Christopher Lee? We have a, do we have the mic? Do you have the mic for that? Excellent. If you'd like to take the gentleman in the coat. Uh, so, thank you for braving the rain, by the way, folks. Go ahead. Uh, Christopher, you seem to always be playing second fiddle to these evil lords. Do you ever wish that you could just be running the show? That I could be number one, you mean? Yeah. Well, I have been on occasions. <laughs> but uh, in these films, you're quite right. Well, in 
Star Wars, of course, I am number two. I have a boss, and you all know who that is. And all I can say is that there's a very famous phrase, put not your trust in princes because of what happens uh, when I desperately need help. But when I think of the Lord of the Rings, it's a different matter because Sauron is the power, the Lord of the Rings, but Saruman is really the number one adversary of the Fellowship. So I was number one there. But, but looking, looking at, looking at Saruman.